Hi, my name is Joe Gallagher. I'm the business development manager for network operators here at Roden Schwartz. We're at the 2014 LTE Innovation Summit, and I'd like to talk to you about some of the interference hunting test tools that Roden Schwartz has. So what I want to be able to show you is one of the challenges that network operators have here in North America and around the world is the interference issues that they're facing with LTE. Roden Schwartz has some unique test tools, one of them called the DDF007. The DDF007 solution consists of a correlated infrarometry antenna that can be uh, mounted on a uh, rooftop of a, any vehicle because it's magnetic mounted. We have our DDF007 analyzer along with our mobile locate software that runs on a control PC. And what this is able to do is in a very automated fashion has the ability to input the frequency of interest and at that point, the user then has to drive a route, whatever route it may be, and from that, after enough good bearing information, enough, uh, enough detail, the instrument will then drop a circle where the most likely location of that signal of in interest is coming from. So what I'd like to do is kind of show you a quick demo. So here's an example where we have a drive that I'm going to show you. We're going to start at one location. We're just going to drive around. So we've put the signal of interest and the frequency in there. And so now I'm going to hit play. And so now as you'll see here, the bearing line is uh, capturing information. It's feeding that information into the mobile locate software. And what it's doing, it's creating clouds of probability. Those clouds of probability based upon where the most likely location of that signal of interest is, is coming from will be differently color coded. Um, a hotter signal will be of a, uh, a yellow, uh, deeper yellow color, or a blue will be of a most likely not coming from. So I'm just going to go ahead and speed this up, this up just a little bit. And you'll see here's a good example where it's creating these different types of clouds depending upon what it's being fed the information from the DDF007. So this path is you following along here, it's creating the blue area which is the most likely not where it's coming from, but you'll see a yellow cloud of probability coming up here and that's more likely where it is the signal of interest is likely coming from. So the instrument itself is collecting 600 bearings a minute and feeding that information into the mobile locate software where there are algorithms that are uh, using to calculate the most likely probability of the location where it is and after it collects enough data locations and enough information what it will do is it will then drop a red circle where the most likely location is and then the user of the equipment would drive to that location and then use a PR100 with a directional antenna to walk the last hundred meters. So as you can see here it's very highly uh, centered where the, where the yellow um, uh, coloring is and that's where the, in, this individual is going to probably be start to drive towards that yellow cloud and very shortly as I speed it up just a little bit more you'll see that it's going to drop a red circle where the most likely location is. And as you can see right there. So in this case here, a typical network operator, what they're gonna do, they're gonna drive to that location, get out of their vehicle, and walk the last 100 yards. Thank you very much.